Yo guys, Dave Ventura here again with another tutorial. This one is not exactly a tutorial, it's more of what you could do, hints and tips on to make your builds a lot better, your streets and your roads. Let's crack on with it. Right, first thing is these two roads here are a no-no. One, because they're only too wide. They're too flat and they're too wide. And you don't use quartz in the middle like that and also you don't do this. Don't use the, the signs because when you come to when you come to do like a bend or a corner in, in your roads this is gonna look stupid so yeah so guys remember don't do this what you need to do is something like this and we'll go up these bit by bit so these ones one two three four five so 15 no yep these roads are 15 wide let's say five wide here so you can get like a three, three block or three wide vehicle. If you're gonna do a four wide vehicle, obviously make these six wide. Yep. Right, what we'll do is, also when you come to do the sidewalks, pavements and that, use a slab and then three blocks or even four blocks. Just make it a little bit wider, just to tie it up to you. Or you can use this side, put a block down, then a step blocks on top uh, behind it like this so tight up you you're gonna go for that style or that style also this using the iron truck doors if you're doing like a sewage system and that put a bit of water one block under underneath and then you've got your iron gates uh, iron truck doors across so I can go for more of the step approach so take these out just to show you this is what it is what it looks like so under here you've got your mossy stone Obviously don't put the lights in there, I'll just put them in to show you what it looks like. So you can have your mossy stone in there. It's tied up to you if you want to go for that. Just to break it up a little bit in your street, when you build a full street. And something like this, all like that. So tied up to you. But yeah, that's that's that one. Another one you can do, is that one's like more of American style with the yellow stripe. This one's more UK, British style with the stripes in the middle. What I've done here, I've also gone four blocks then miss three then four blocks some people do a two miss two two don't do that your stripes are always wider or longer than your actual gap so i've done a four and then a three also what you can do is as you can see here you can just use house slabs you don't have to use blocks you can just use house slabs for your for your pavement your sidewalk you can have them four wide even five wide same on this side just breaks it up a little bit more doesn't look too noobish but if you don't want to go for the slabs obviously you can go from the back to the blocks but just use the steps so you do the steps first then your blocks and as, as you can see this one it's got a little bit of grass just to break it up a little bit it's entirely up to you if you want to do this or you can just do the normal style like this just kind of clean looking still tidy you know what i mean also this one is six one two three four five six Oops, this one's six so that one's 15 blocks wide this one's 17 blocks wide v road so you tidy which you tidy up you which one you choose another thing you can do is stuff like this so if you've got your half slabs what you do is use your step so I'll take these out one is just half slabs, same as two down there. What I've done is that this time I've raised, raised it up I'm using the step. It's got a little bit of a raise to it. And then obviously you can just put your grass in, into it like that. And also you can decorate like I did with this side. Putting trees and bushes. And that's pretty much that one done. The next one, as you can see across here, what I've done is so using the half slabs, I've gone back to the steps for the full block and then just use pressure plates going around like this so this one's got like bushes and stuff like that on it but this one actually lights up at night time so I turn it to night time so you got a bit of a glue to it now to get your glue what you do is just get a torch and a leaf that's all you need so come over this side and all you do is, to get that glue, dig down two, go down, 
put a torch at the back there. Yep. Come out. Put three on there. There you go. Done. That is how you get your, your glow. Another thing you can do for your sidewalks, change the material. Go for something a bit more colourful like this. So here I've got like the granite. Still got the pressure plates going across for their well, like flowers and stuff like that. Or instead of just keeping it all grass like that, you can even break it up even more and do it like this. Using the coarse dirt and the dirt path. So that's, that's another thing you can do. Just gives it a bit more decoration to the side of the road. And that's that one done. Another thing people do is when it comes to doing elevated roads. As you can see here, this is a no-no. A lot of people do this, putting half slabs across the road like this. Doesn't look right. No, don't do it. What you need to do is what this one, what's, what's actually here. Underneath, underneath here is actually fence. So what you do is you put your fence down and then put the carpet on top. The reason for that is I put myself down so I can jump around. When you've got the half slab, you've got to step up like that, yep. Same on here. Because you've got that down, you walk straight up. No jumping involved. Just straight up and down. And also looks more professional, tidier, cleaner. So guys, if you're gonna do this, like for a bridge, do this thing. Do it like that. Don't do that. Okay? And that's pretty much it, guys. That is your road tutorial for today. Hopefully this will this tutorial helps for your sidewalks, your pavements, your paths, and also your thickness of your roads. The next tutorial will be stuff to do with your junctions, intersections, and stuff like that. So please keep in tuned, keep watching, and I'll see you next time.